Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exo Zeros content. In today's video, we're going to discuss an updated free to play guide for Exo Zeros. But before that, if you want to see more Exo Zeros content, please hit the subscribe button down below. We will have a little bit of an account preview of my free to play account. So I haven't played this, this account that much uh, for the past probably a month or more than a month. But before I stopped playing this account, I was playing it for around a month or two, um, right after, right after the global launch. Um, of course, I, I prioritized my my main account, but this is my free to play account. So let's go over my roster. So if you can see, the roster for my account hasn't been that extensive. Um, I have actually a few. FCs for now um, Not that much uh, most of the FCs I have already here on top so And even the generals I don't have so this is actually quite a challenge for me Because the game right now is so far advanced that you need um, generals to 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 um, To go uh, far in this game because of signature force Anyway, um, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link up there for the five reasons why you should play Exo Zeros now. Um, because there are a couple of events that will give you a very good freebies um, once you log into the game. So please do start your account now or try to return to the game. So anyway, um, the concept of, of Exo's Heroes is it's actually very simple. Um, the, it's a it's a cycle of heroes leveling up your heroes and the next is trying to complete content and try to get the rewards from that content the rewards you will be able to use in leveling up your hero so those th that is the cycle so heroes content rewards and go back to heroes again one more thing do not do not focus on pvp that much uh, in the beginning um, just go as far as you can in PvP with the ex with the existing roster that you have because I'm sure as a beginner you won't be able to compete beyond Challenger I think Challenger 1 so the highest that I've had with this account is Challenger 1 and above that it's really difficult to maintain or, or just to go up so focus more on your PvE content okay so again the next uh, the first step that that you will have to do is again level up your heroes right so focus on your heroes so how so enhance them so have them enhanced usually the lower levels have not yet been enhanced so we'll try to find heroes who have not been enhanced here so yao so you enhance them then once you once you usually hit a, a a cap you'll be able to bless them the final stage of a hero is when you try to awaken them as you can see here with 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 deva she's my she's one of my top characters or top heroes for my free to play account so you can awaken them the key to awakening is more or less have the same the same color for your gear for your faded gear so that you will have awaken bonuses here so awaken bonus effect it depends upon upon the the what do you call this the stones or the set effect that you'll be equipping okay and also one other thing is once you reach once you awaken um the characters or once you reach uh uh, sorry, once you awaken the characters, you can also uh, enhance element enhance them depending on how many copies you have transcended. So transcend here is actually transcending copies of the same hero, not necessarily fate course. So it increases your levels, maximum levels as you transcend. And also it will depend on your elemental enhancement on the number of transcended copies that you have. Also... Um, these heroes can be unleashed potential if you really want to maximize your your heroes like for example what I'll do with Deva I'll, I'll open this one so if you open this one you'll be able to add 
um, more stats and I'm oh, sorry more skills and stats to your heroes so if you can see you can add defense you can add speed you can add here health you can even add attack so once once you 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 unlock the first one you will need to unlock also the bottom part so you will need uh, solar seals for this one so we'll we'll go to that in a while on where you'll be able to get your solar seals to upgrade your characters and also for for the skills you need this one guys you will be able to farm these currency um, depending on the nation of your character and depending on where on which nation you are you can actually farm these only during your let's, let's go to the world you'll be able to farm solar seals here during your exploration so either you you do a active exploration or you do a smart exploration for your farming for this one that is your leveling up of your heroes so next question is who to level up who will i who will i level up first so i will answer that through um content because the game is driven on content uh, and you will need specific heroes for different content i would advise that you at least level up two two characters per level i'm oh, sorry two characters per element of your choice let's say for example let's go back to the airship if you see here you filter them let's say for example for example for fire so for fire um you i i will give you more or less an advice to level up two characters that you think you would want to bring so let's say for example for my fire i will prioritize otar and zeon the rest of the characters that you will have to level up for fire will depend on your content requirement for the game so so for your challenges you grow here in, in the growth so the growth areas are the ones you should depend uh on who to level up let's say for example you're here in experience sanctum if you can see um around your special you have you have to reach this part at most because most of the rewards the good rewards are here um if you go to maniac these are the two that are have good rewards but the key is reaching special because you will need this one this this uh currency star of fate because you'll need this to to get uh faded gear and and you all you will need faded gear when or before you awaken your heroes do not awaken your heroes without fated gear because you'll never get good permanent stats and also once you try to awaken them with faded gear make sure that they are of the same color depending on what build you want so again um if you can see here let's say for example i already have um i already have adams and i already have baelish and I already have Iris. So this stage for today, um, you would you be, you would be required light and darkness heroes. So more or less these two, if you're not going to use them in any content, you still have to level them up to unlock to unlock special because once you once you click suggest, they will be suggesting you um, these ones conditions to enter. Conditions to enter is is what you call this is um, for you to clear the stage. You can actually you can actually do this battle already. You can actually uh, uh, do a, a repetitive battle, but you have to reach this one, the easy the easy combat power, which is one hundred seventy four thousand. No, sorry, uh, one million seven hundred forty three thousand and six hundred eighty five to quick battle it but for now you can already um try to clear this stage through repetitive battle so i'll show you another example uh, of another challenge so we'll go again to growth so let's check out let's say for example lunar trade so for lunar trade lunar trade route and solar trade route there's an extra stage 
uh, in which you need to open because usually again with the other stages in growth um, it, they're usually up to up to what you call this up to this level only up to special only in which all special levels have star of fate okay this is good that you've uh, that i've unlocked it already at this point but um in the future i should unlock lunatic because there is a material there where you need to unlock r1 gear after you r1 gear is needed after you've awakened your heroes because once you awaken your heroes they will consume the faded gear that you have equipped uh, them with it so you need to equip after you've awakened them you need r1 gear for for your awakened heroes so you'll be able to summon or to get um faded gear through star of fate so for every star so for every five that's one faded gear that you can try to get here but this is actually a random um random craft so it depends on the rng on on what you will get out of let's say for example i i get this six um you not all of the the gear that you'll be getting is is what you call this is faded gear sometimes not even one so i would suggest that you make sure that you have to to get a lot before you try to uh, get faded equipment in this uh, the door to creation you have to unlock embodiment of avarice so just to give you an example um, you also you also level up your characters also based on content because if you can see the requirements they would require you all light heroes and four star or higher so even if you have ready heroes here with four star or higher you also need to make sure that you have reached the required combat power so for now i haven't reached it i'm at f and this is my current um current uh combat power so if you can see the reward information so for every tier there's a tier of combat power that you reach to unlock to further get good rewards so for embodiment of avarice you'll need this because of the beads of greed this one the orange ones and you'll need the the, the abrasives to polish your weapons to level them up the holy dragon grounds actually gives you these ones sorry these ones so the relic of dragon dynasty is a currency that you'll need to get fated weapons so fated gear is uh, star of fate and relic of dragon dynasty is for fated weapons so here similar to your fated gear um they will be they will be forged here so it's it, it's much better that you forge them here than here than the airship forge i would recommend you spending them there rather than here because this is pretty much very costly and it this usually gives you only one so the growth portion all of these experience sanctum spirit sanctum gold mine sword trade root blessing sanctum and your shelter of, of avarice you have to make sure that you level up your characters based on the these ones because they will help you in giving you gear and giving you materials for your heroes to be leveled up okay and the other one was embodiment of avarice um because of the polished gear and the beads of greed and the other one is your holy dragon grounds for your fated weapons so again please base your 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 character level up on these ones and also there are some events that would give you give you materials polish weapons so these are your monthly season mission and your exos pass the free portion up here and sometimes we get core raids it's a special event you also try to finish the free portion because it will give you materials um, to level up your characters just a um, small note while you are leveling up and finding gear for your heroes um, you should always all uh, try to summon for fate course so fate course are 
um, are a must in the game because it it makes it takes your heroes to a certain level that they would be better because of their skills or they have different skills or they will have they will have revised skills and they they will have greater stats as well so fate cores again please farm for them uh please make sure that you have enough zest to farm for your fate cores so i'll put a link above this video so that uh, you, you would be guided on how to farm for zest i already made a previous video on that and also please make sure that you recruit for for what do you call this for generals so you have seven generals you have garf rachel bathory shufraken Jinai, dorka and schmidt so these are the seven um generals that you would want to farm because you will need them for signature force but before we go to signature force um i'll put also another link here on how to farm for nation recruit tickets through golden clocks i'll leave it up there so the main benefit of of farming for farming for generals is with your sig with your signature force you'll need three copies so one original copy transcended and one more copy you should spend here so you'll need three copies of one general to activate the first level of signature force because it gives you an additional 4,900 damage just for the first level. And as you go up, there are other benefits as such as increased attack, increased defense, and HP as well. Please make sure that you watch my video on how to farm for generals because it will teach you on how to to farm for 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 generals for free actually you don't need to buy um the nation recruit tickets um you just have to farm for them for zest there are other also free ways on how to farm for zest also refer to the video that i told you anyway guys that's it for me so i hope that you appreciated the guide that i made on on free to play or beginner players um, I'm actually um, doing okay right now with this free-to-play account now that I have a means of getting generals. So I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys try out the game and I hope you stay and throw down any comments um, about the game. And if you have questions, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Anyway, stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out.